Hey, what's going on guys? Chris back with you with another unboxing and review video. And I'm super, super pumped up about this one because in the back here, I've been working on a home theater setup, which is a little bit different than your average home theater setup. And this projector will fit perfectly in it. We will be unboxing and reviewing this projector right here. And just like all my unboxing and review videos in the description box below the video, you're gonna find a link for this exact same projector. So if you wanna read more about it or pick one up yourself, it's gonna be in the description box box below. You guys over in the UK, I will try to have you guys linked as well to this exact same projector if they sell it, if not one very similar to it. Hey guys, if you're new here, welcome. We have a lot of fun here. Smash that subscribe button down below and turn on your bell notifications so when fresh content comes out, you're the first to know. I believe you pronounce the company Vivi Bright, V-I-V-I -I Bright, so Vivi Bright. This is a full HD projector. We're going to run through some specs, so let's go ahead and get this on the counter. Let's unbox it, see what we got. We'll go ahead and set it up and see what she looks like. A couple quick specs before we get into it. 4200 output lumen, LED light up to 50,000 hours, HDMI up to 120 inches. I actually have a 120 inch projector screen, so this is gonna be perfect. Hi-Fi speaker. So without further ado, let's get this out. Right on the top here, we have a nice cord and remote control and the projector unit right here. Also in the bag here, we have our user manual. The tech picture specifications is picture format is widescreen 16.9, best image size diagonal 35 through 160 inches. But again, on the outside of the box, they're recommending up to 120. Resolution is 1920 times 1080p. And here are some technical specifications of the projector. You can go ahead and pause that and read that so that I won't take up too much of your time here. The multimedia applications, number of ports, et cetera, the power, and the dimensions and the weight there as well. Okay, so again, in the bag, we have a nice little microfiber cloth for cleaning the lens. Our cord here, if you are curious, that is about a four foot, maybe a five foot cord there. And our remote control here, that takes two AAA batteries, which you will need to buy those separately. The remote control kind of looks like your Amazon type of thin remote control. Let's go ahead and get the projector out here and see what she looks like. All right, there is the projector. We have our remote sensor on the front, full HD, Vivi Bright. Our lens cap cover here, which you just obviously just pull off. Looking at our lens right there, you can adjust the focus with the wheels here. Ventilation for the projector. And on the back here, we have our manual buttons, which is nice as well. And we also, of course, have our on and off switch, our plug right here. We have another remote control sensor right there. Headphone jack if you want to listen over headphones, which is nice if your spouse or loved ones are sleeping. Digital audio right here, HDMI port, and two USB ports right there. More ventilation on this side of it here. And on the bottom, we have some pads here to protect if you are putting it on some sort of furniture. And we also have a little flip up for putting it at more of a tilt like this here. If you had it more of on a conference desk that you wanted to go up and over. Now for ceiling mounting, it does have some small screws here and here and over here and right up here for a ceiling mounting and then obviously it would hang upside down like this and then just go in settings, flip the image around and you could have that obviously hanging from your ceiling. And if I haven't mentioned already, this is their F30 model projector. Okay, for installation purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and let you pause on this. These are recommended settings and the distance from your screen if you want to project that. Now here it is, the projector right over here. And again, that's not gonna be the permanent solution, but it's on top of my box here. We do have natural light still coming in. It is about almost seven o'clock in the evening time, summertime, as you're watching this. So natural light is protruding through. You obviously could close your blinds, get blackout curtains if you're gonna be doing a lot of TV or viewing during the daytime. But I'm gonna go ahead and just show you right now here as we are right against the wall here projecting all the way over to my projector screen which is hung up right there the light you see below is actually my television i have a splitter and i have a projector and if i lift that up i have a 60 inch behind the projector screen 
Let me go ahead and just show that to you real quickly here. We got Back to the Future on. So let's go ahead and fire up the projector. First, we do need to take off our lens cap, of course. There we go, full HD again fires up and it is a quiet projector. We'll go ahead and listen in for right now. That is nice and quiet. Your typical projector, nothing too over the top noisy. And last night, the headphone jack came in really handy. My wife went to bed earlier than I did and I was able to watch a television show just directly plugged into the back of the projector with my AUX headphone jack into my headphones here. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like. So I don't wanna to get too much copywritten content on here, but let me just show you here. So again, we're gonna go ahead and unpause it here and I'll just let it play for just a little bit. So this is would be it during again the daytime with light coming in and I have to turn up my sound. Obviously that helps with not getting copyright content in there. But again, I still have my headphone jack in the actual projector. So let me go ahead and pause this real quickly. So I was watching it last night with my headphones in using the AUX jack, headphone jack behind me. And I just have my audio connected to my surround sound as well. I kicked that sound all the way off and just used the headphones. Now the projector does have speakers. If you do not have a surround sound, the projector does have speakers. You could listen to it right behind your head if you want that way. Or you can hook it up via HDMI cable like I did to my surround sound up front and you're able to hear it that way as well. Now, real quickly, I do wanna talk about the speaker in the unit real quickly. It does the job, but you can also use your AUX cable plugged into like a nice little something with a little bit more girth, a little bit more sub to it, if that's something that you wanna do. So all you do here is you would plug in this red AUX cable, which I already previously had. You guys probably have these for your headphones or cell phones, and you plug that into the AUX port on whatever speaker you have and you apply the volume that way. That will give you a little bit more girth for your unit, but the speaker does work and it will do the job. Overall picture looks very nice, even for as much light is coming in. And we'll be back with you later on tonight when it gets fully dark to show you. Now again, we're looking at 1985. So the quality is standard definition. Let's go ahead and go back here. Okay, so here is my main menu of my Android box. As you can see here, very crisp, very nice. Look at the icons up here and here. Now again, there is a manual focus knob is the first one and a tilt is the second one. And what the tilt does is it shifts it back this way and this way. And of course the focus focuses it up. Now I do have to get it a little bit more aligned. As you can see here, it's coming off the edge just a little bit here. And that has to do with the positioning of the projector. Okay, so we'll wait till nighttime and we'll get some more shots. All right, here's the menu here. It's not completely dark. I have a little bit of ambient light on in my kitchen. But of course, a little ambient light is not going to do harm. If you wanted it completely blacked out, you might have slightly more black over here in this corner. And we will now get some footage of an HD film now while it is dark. I'm very impressed with the crisp colors. I have my Android box hooked up to the projector. We are looking absolutely fantastic. <music> We took a little breather from showing you that footage. We're gonna show a little bit more, obviously, because it is a show, we don't wanna have a copyright strike on the video. So we just are gonna split that up and show you some additional footage right now. All right, guys, here it is on Amazon right here. It's, now, it's coming in at a really good price, but the company has reached out and given a coupon code below the video. You're going to see that coupon code. If you pick one up, apply that discount code 
at checkout to save even more money. Not to mention great reviews coming up here on Amazon. Check that exact link out in the description box below. Overall, I've been really enjoying the projector. I've been using the headphones like I mentioned earlier in the video with my AUX cable plugged in right here. Again, this is just the temporary setup I've had for the past couple weeks. I probably will eventually maybe get a ceiling mount, etc. Maybe a little shelf that extends out from underneath my painting that looks good there. But the highlights for me are is the wonderful brightness, full HD of course, and the headphone jack that I just mentioned. I really enjoy that feature. And again, I'm shining this on a 120 inch projection screen. This is a manual pull down in front of my other television setup and it works out absolutely fantastically. If you're wondering about my setup here, I'm running an HDMI cable. I actually have to extend it here into an adapter that comes underneath the couch. It's very seamless. It takes about 30 seconds to set it up, but I'm really enjoying that. Again, in the description box below are gonna be those links, folks, where you can read more about it. Pick one up yourself. You're not gonna be disappointed with this guy. Thumbs that video up, and if it's helped you make an informed decision, and we'll see you on the next video, guys. Take care, have a great day, bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.